hello and welcome to my youtube channel chemwiz in this video we are going to learn mass spectrometry of alkenes we will learn how this technique provides unique insights into their molecular weight fragmentation and structures let's go through the basic fragmentation rules for alkene alkenes have pi bond during electronic bombardment pi electron is removed to generate molecular ion and this doesn't result fragmentation because of this a strong molecular ion peak is observed so the first rule is that a strong molecular ion peak is observed the most common fragmentation is the cleavage of a lilac bond that can be shown like this to generate resonance stabilized allyl carbocation thus the second rule is that the most common fragmentation is the allylic cleavage to generate resonance stabilized allyl carbocation cyclohexene derivatives upon electronic bombardment remove pi electron to produce molecular cation which undergoes ring opening like this to produce 1,3 butadiene radical cation and alkene this ring opening resembles the retrodial Selder reaction you can also draw the mechanism differently in that the molecular ion is drawn by just drawing the molecule as such and then putting inverted L with radical cation. For fragmentation of for fragmentation use curved arrow like this to generate radical cation and alkene. Here we can see that the radical cation is drawn by just trying diene resulting from the retrodial shield reaction and then putting inverted L with radical cation. Thus, we can write molecular ion of cyclohexene derivatives undergo retrodial shield retrodial shield type ring opening to produce 1,3 butadiene radical cation and alkene. Let's have general structure of an alkene with hydrogen at karma carbon. Carbon next to alkene is alpha, next to it is beta, and next to that is gamma. And it is having hydrogen attached to it. Removal of one pi electron gives this radical cation which undergoes intramolecular gamma abstracts gamma hydrogen abstraction at the same time formation of pi bond between beta and gamma carbons and breaking up alpha beta bond to eliminate alkene and a radical cation this overall process is called McLafferty rearrangement you can also draw the mechanism differently in that case the molecular ion is drawn by just drawing the molecule as such and then putting inverted L with radical cation. Use curved arrows like this to generate alkene and radical cation. Here we can see that the radical cation is drawn by just drawing the alkene and putting inverted L with radical cation over it. Thus, the third rule may be stated as alkenes with hydrogen at gamma carbon undergo McLafferty rearrangement to produce alkene and radical cation. One thing which is to be noted here is that mass spectrometry of alkene doesn't give any information about easy isomers. Let's have mass spectrum of 1-butene. The molecular weight of 1-butene is 56. Upon electronic bombardment, it eliminates 1 pi electron 
to produce molecular cation that has m by z value of 56 it eliminates h radical to produce allyl cation with m by z value of 55 the molecular ion eliminates methyl radical like this to produce allyl cation with m by z value of 41 which forms the base peak of the mass spectrum mass spectrum of beta marcine the molecular weight of beta marcine is 136 after electronic bombardment it eliminates one of the pi electrons to produce molecular cation with m by z value of 136 breaking up this allylic cc bond results this radical and this allylic carbocation with m by z value of 69 breaking up the same allylic bond may also result formation of this allylic radical and this carbocation with m by z value of 67 the molecular ion may isomerize to more stable conjugated system with the same m by z value of 136 breaking up this allylic cc bond produces probe 2 il radical and this resonance stabilized carbocation with m by z value of 93 the base peak at m by z 41 is for allylic cation mass spectrum of limonene the molecular weight of limonene is 136 it has cyclohexene core removal of one pi electron gives molecular cation having m by z of 136 as we have seen that cyclohexene undergoes retro deals elder ring opening reaction so the ring opening like this will give 2 methyl butadiene and 2 methyl butadiene radical cation with m by z value of 68 now let's have a problem and its solution the problem is the mass spectrum of 3 methyl 1 hexene exhibits a prominent peak due to McLafferty rearrangement which of the following is the m by z value of this peak 56 70 84 and 98 come to the solution this is the structure of 3 methyl 1 hexene we can see that it has alpha beta and gamma carbon with a gamma hydrogen so it will undergo McLafferty rearrangement for that let's redraw it in its orientation required for McLafferty rearrangement electronic bombardment will remove one of the two pi electrons to produce this molecular ion which will then undergo McLafferty rearrangement like this to produce propene and this radical cation having m by z value of 56 so option a is the correct option that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video